तो कैसे हैं आप लोग आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई YouTube चैनल कोडिंग बाय फोन एंड लैक गेट स्टार्टेड सो क्वेश्चन इज मिनिमम प्लेटफॉर्म सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू लेट सी हियर सो गिव ऑन अराइवल एंड डिपार्चर टाइम्स ऑफ ऑल द ट्रेंड्स दैट रीच अ रेलवे स्टेशन द टास्क इज टू फाइंड द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ प्लेटफॉर्म्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द रेलवे स्टेशन सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ प्लेटफॉर्म्स रिक्वायर्ड एंड देन दे हैव गिवन द अराइवल एंड डिपार्चर टाइम ऑफ द ट्रेंड्स राइट and also given the conditions like consider that all trains arrive on the same day and leave on the same day so on the same day they have arrived and depart right also arrival and departure times will not be same for a train and that means if two trains are two trains will not come for the same arrival time or depart from the same arrival for the same arrival time, right but we can say we have the arrival time one train is equals to so one train May arrive for the same time and depart for the same time. So in this case, we have to count or not. So let's see. At given stands of time, same platform cannot be used for both the departure of a train and arrival of, arrival of an unit. So we have to count the platform for that case. So let's see the example. So they have given the time as nine, nine forty, nine fifty, eleven, eleven, and fifteen, eighteen, right? So what concept we will use here to find the minimum number of platforms in that at least these three platforms are needed for this. So let's see the example, and then we will implement code part, right? So let's see. Uh, we have these two arrays of arrival time, and I will sort it according to time. So what's the time given? Nine o'clock. Eleven and twelve thirty-five. So let's say it's twelve. I'm not writing all the. And let's say departure time is. Hmm. Ten. Twelve and let's say thirteen. Right. It's twelve forty, so I'm writing thirteen. So I have sorted both the arrays. Sort both the arrays. Now we'll check if a of i is less than if a of i is less than a of j. Right. So a train is coming at nine and going at ten. So I need a platform for that. So I am just counting that platform, right? And if it is not true, then I will just decrement it, right? And at the time of incrementing, I will also increment the i also here. And also the J. Like uh, if I is less than J, I will increment I. I will not increment J. I will increment J here, right? And now I'll compare I with this. Eleven is greater than ten, so that that ninth uh, the train which came at nine. Have gone at ten, so we have a platform that is empty. So the next train who arrives at eleven, which arrives at eleven, can use that platform, right? So in this case, uh, in that case, we will just decrement the count, and we will increment the J. So J was initially pointing to this. We will increment the J here. Now we'll compare this. If A of I is less than A of J, then we have incremented. So count is now two, and uh, I will implement the i. Now again, I will compare it. So that's how we have to process. Uh, and at the same time, we have to uh, we have to check like if count is greater than maximum. Let's say maximum we have zero initially. So whatever the count we are getting maximum in this whole process, let's say one, two, three, and two, one. Right. So whatever the maximum count we are reaching, we have to print it into the output. So this was the concept that we are going to use here. And let's see the code part now. So initially, what I have to take input n and yes, two arrays. Input n. Now taking first of all, making two arrays. A for arrival. B for departure, right? 
no port okay port to zero twenty less than n same a of i and similarly this for d of i right now I'm plotting what the error is d comma so guys this code may not be optimal so there may be another logic for this even with other logic we can optimize it but this code uh, this coding question is i am going to take you know, it will take order of n log n time right because we are sorting and uh, for sorting the time to complex case order of n log now we are accessing the arrays right so if k of i is less than a of j so we have to map a while loop here not the full i is less than n and j is less than n right now it looks good if a of i is less than a of j then we have to make a count that will increment and also it will increment the i right else we will just decrease the count and increment the j part and at the same time I will check if this count is greater than max then I will update it update the max with the count Let's see. right and I have to initialize these two variables int count equal to zero and max equals to zero so whatever is the maximum count will be stored in the max and I will simply see out the max so let's compile it session on expired so let me refresh it so we got the error congratulations and uh, i and g are not declared uh, yes right i and g are not declared but so let me declare i is equals to 0 j equals to 0 so let's compile it now So we got the output zero zero. So let's see the error first. So we got the error. Sorry guys, this mistakes arrival time and it's D. Right, departure time we have made uh, error D. So let's compile now. So we got the output as three and one, and similarly here was the output. And let's submit it to check for the test cases. There is an error. Its correct output is 445 and your code output is 444. So we have to be make sure that if AI is less than equals to D of J means the time at the same time the train is coming and going, like right? another train. So for that we have to include a platform for it, right? So let's compare it now. Yes, compilation successful. Let's submit it. So yes, our code is accepted now. So we have passed all the test cases. So we have completed this question. If you if like this video, you can share with your friends and you can subscribe to my channel. Also click on the bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video. See you. Bye bye.